Hey there guys, uh, thanks for watching my latest video. Um, it's not long actually since my last video, uh, which I did, which was the Princess Diana uh, portrait. So if you've not seen that, check it out. It should be uh, just below uh, this one. Um, but yeah, uh, this is my latest piece. This was uh, a picture that I took of my daughter down at the beach uh, over the summer holidays here in the UK a few weeks back. Um, I really like this picture because uh, there was a lot of detail in the sunglasses, uh, the reflection in the sunglasses as you will see um, starting to appear in the picture. I also really liked the, uh, the way that the light was hitting uh, the face and casting shadows down onto the cheeks what i've started to realize and actually notice is dependent upon the picture the quality of the picture uh, i.e where the light's coming from the direction of the light how strong the shadows are you can actually make your drawing look much 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 more realistic uh, hopefully you'll see that developing through this uh, through this piece as we go um, but as always, I'm starting uh, with my 4H and 2H pencils going into the darkest areas. Now, the darkest areas on this piece are definitely the rims of the glasses. So, um, I, I I thought as I was as I was doing this, or slightly before I started doing this picture, that I was going to go to at least a 6B uh, on the rims of the glasses because they are. If you can see the reference just there on the left hand side, they're almost black or, or, or they are basically black. So using a 6B was what I went for. Um, and then making sure that I do get the, again, the nostrils, which are usually quite dark areas, very, very dark, uh, in between the mouth, in between the gaps of the teeth uh, and around the chin, underneath the chin, uh, the inside of the hair where it's almost meeting the forehead as well also goes very dark. So going up to sort of a 4B in those areas, but making sure, again, that I don't leave any areas all the same value, which would, which would give me a flat um, type of look to the, whether it was the rim of the glasses or the forehead. Um, really enjoyable piece to do. Uh, again, this took me around about 30 to 35 hours to complete. Um, I don't know why it's pausing there. I don't know what's happened. But, uh, yeah, it was one of my uh, better pieces. I've actually got it up on display on the wall as we speak now in the house because it was so nice. We were supposed to be giving this to Grandma, but um, I think I'm going to keep it for myself because it does complement the rest of the room that we've got it in. I've put it in a nice frame, um, which is a black and white frame uh, with a border around it, so it does sort of pop off uh, the walls. It looks really good. I've had a few compliments from it already. Uh, the other really taxing part on this was if you can see in the corner there that my daughter's actually wearing a white denim jacket. Uh, to get the white denim to look white is actually quite difficult because I'm not going to leave the page white there, otherwise it would look flat. So uh, I'm actually using um, a 4H uh, and a 2H, even in the lightest areas. But again, I'm, I'm going to be using my brush to brush some of the value down into those areas, making sure that, again, I do get the darkest parts because even on a white jacket, there are some areas that are quite dark. As you can see, the creases, uh, which cast the shadow downwards underneath the collar, they're quite dark. And it's amazing how even something that isn't white can be made to look white depending on the contrast uh, that you've got in the areas around it. So making sure that the face itself has got enough value in there so that it does contrast against the white jacket. Uh, you can see that I've started on the hair now. Again, as usual, I'm using a 2B for the hair, uh, taking the highlights out uh, with my Mono Zero razor, which always comes in handy. Make sure I'm building the layers up, finding the darkest areas again and going to a 4B. So some of those darker strands are in a 4B, uh, but the majority of that hair has been done in a 2B. Starting on the uh, left side now as we look at it, uh, not too far off from completion here now. I wish this drawing took me this amount of time in real life. Um, so we're basically towards the end now. So once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If you like this type of uh, video, leave me a comment and a like below. Here I am signing it to finish off. Uh, thanks a lot. See you next time.